from the mundane, the component proponent, yeah. Sure, I'll admit it. I am tempted to add a little extra protection to the cards in certain games in my collection. So, yeah, from time to time, I sleeve. But sleeving cards does have its own consequences that I've learned. While it will protect cards, it makes those cards harder to shuffle. And furthermore, a deck of sleeved cards is much thicker. Not only taking up more space, but becoming far more prone to spilling over, ruining everything, everywhere, forever. The brand of sleeves that I use frequently are Ultra Pro sleeves, because even with their incredibly annoying hologram, they do get the job done. But yes, at the slightest deviation in seismic activity, they will topple over faster than a Jenga game in a hurricane. <laughs> Board game humor. Dig it. Now, I used to think it was just the way it had to be with sleeved cards. But then, I discovered that Ultra Pro and perhaps others make two different types of card sleeves, regular and matte. Now, I asked the raccoon that lives in my basement what the difference is between regular and matte sleeved cards, and he informed me that matte sleeves supposedly have a slightly rougher surface, making them less slippery, preventing your collectible card game decks from toppling over as often. <laughs> I was stunned. I mean, I was under the impression that the raccoon was a Euro gamer. So, taking the rodent's advice, I went out and bought a pack of matte sleeves in order to put them to the test. Are matte card sleeves really less slippery than regular ones? Or is it just a placebo effect? This is what I set out to discover as your component proponent. Upon opening my first set of matte card sleeves, I gave them a feel, and this one. And sure enough, they did feel like they had a little bit more of a rough surface. But it wasn't substantial enough to you know, really stand out or be distracting. If I wasn't specifically looking for it, I probably wouldn't even have noticed. But what I was really curious about was how they stood up to falling over. So I decided the best way to compare the two types of sleeves was with an official component proponent component competition. And so I set up the shake test, patent pending. In the shake test, I took two equal sized decks of cards from Ashes and sleeved one in standard Ultra Pro sleeves and the other in Ultra Pro matte sleeves. I then set the two decks side by side on my infamously wobbly table and tested jostling it in a variety of directions and severity. What would happen? Would there be any differences? Would the matte sleeves prove to be more stable? Would I ever see that raccoon again? Well, let's find out. The shake test. And there you go, the sleeves with the matte finish unequivocally performed better than the regular ones. To be honest, 
I went into the shake test very skeptical that matte sleeves would make any difference at all in the stability of a deck of sleeved cards. So I was genuinely surprised to see the definitive improvement that they made. Matte card sleeves are a bit more expensive than regular sleeves, but if you value deck stability, they may be worth the slightly higher price point. As for me, matte has become the sleeve texture of choice for all collectible games that I partake in with the rodents that have taken up residence in my crawl space. So, thank you for watching this component review, and if you know of a board game component that's worth talking about, contact me at components at pairofdiceparadise.com, and perhaps I can discuss it on an upcoming episode. And until then, for more board game news, reviews, and commentary, be sure to subscribe to both Pair of Dice Paradise and The Dice Tower. And if you're feeling especially bold, be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook as well. Until next time, I've been Chaz Marler, your component proponent. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. I am tempted a little to... What? <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to say.